Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are actually going to dive into Superlist, which is a to-do list application that is turning into becoming more of a simple all-in-one application. So let's actually just jump into the pricing here because that is very important to a lot of people. Uh, they have a free plan which gives you up to five private and shared lists, up to five people in shared list, unlimited tasks and notes, 25 uh, megabyte uploads and 500 megabyte storage and available on macOS, iOS, Android and web. While the basic plan which is built $5 each person uh, or per 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 person each month that was a lot harder to say uh, than i imagined uh, anyways five dollars per person per month uh, and uh, that gives you unlimited lists sub lists and shared lists with teams and guests unlimited team members talk uh, talk your tasks with voice ai so um basically the feature that a lot of applications have where you can just talk out your day and it will find your tasks for you access to all integrations uh, like the google calendar integration which allows you to put your tasks into google calendar to then calendar block them i actually like that uh, integration a lot and you get 100 megabytes of uploads and 25 gigs of storage that is the basic plan that is six dollars each month if you go for the monthly one or five dollars each month if you go uh for the yearly one the only thing is that you get unlimited team members but it is five dollars per person per month so my guess is that you can get as many people on this plan as you want to you have the super plan which is billed 259 dollars yearly which is 21 dollars uh, per person per month which gives you unlimited ai meeting notes unlimited ai chat messages ai generation with make ai and email uh, and slack task summarization uh, monthly that is 25 dollars per month so basically this gives you an ai meeting note taker as well now let's jump into the actual application. So this is how it looks. You have your today view, you have updates, tasks, and lists. And what you can do here is that you can create folders or, uh, or new lists. So uh, I will just create a new section. Let's call this uh, social media stuff. Just uh, call it that. And uh, let's add a new list. Let's call this list YouTube uh, video ideas like this. And let's just add the super list video in here. Uh, and let's drag this to be under this um, folder. Now you can see that it is inside of the folder. I can drag it back out again. Um, I can actually uh, turn this into several different things. I can turn it into a sub list, a paragraph. I can talk. These are only available on the pro plan. Talk and make with AI. I can actually turn it into a heading, divider, bullet list, number list, image, attachment. But that is not what I am going to do here. Let me just go ahead and remove that. Uh, what I am going to do is that I'm going to click open task details, which opens this pane right here. And inside of here, I can give it a due date. I can assign it to myself because I'm the only one here. I can give it a label. Let's just give it the YouTube label. Um, and I can do give it a due date as well. I can leave comments, uh, which are basically messages down here. This is useful if you are in a team. But what I want to do here is to uh, press backslash, which basically gives me the same thing I showed you. And let's start writing a paragraph. Uh, this works with Markdown as well. So uh, let's say that uh, I wanted to have my main points here. I could do that and I could just start adding the main points and uh, just keep going uh, like this, basically having my main points. And then I could do outro uh, 
and I could add my outro in here as well. And I could basically script this. I could probably write uh, a blog post in here as well, even though I wouldn't personally recommend it, but it is possible to do. I can also unsubscribe from this. I can print task, I can copy link, and I can mark all as uh, mark all uh, incomplete or hide completed task because what I can also do in here is to do backslash task and I can add a test task in here and I can actually give this a due date as well so this could be great these lists could be great for several things I would personally probably use them for um uh, probably use them uh, for projects, for example. So I could have uh, this super list video as a project with tasks underneath it, or I could have a website project as a list with sub lists. So there are a few things you could uh, actually do in here. Um, and uh, you can also uh, then just go ahead and create new lists from here. So let's just call this a test list. Uh, and I can uh, then start to add tasks here. So basically you can do a lot of things with this application. With the um, pro plan, uh, you also get, as I mentioned, the calendar uh, integration, which makes it easier for you to calendar block your tasks and you get unlimited lists as well. Um, and with the uh, meeting plan, that's what I'm calling it, you uh, get a lot more AI stuff if that is something that is really important to you. Uh, updates here are, is basically when people update a task. Again, this is more uh, if you are in a team, you can also see all of your lists here. I currently have five, which I think is the meeting, uh, is the limit, sorry. You can also see your meetings uh, uh, you can also see your meetings here if you uh, use this as like a meeting tool. Uh, I started my sentence before finishing the last one, but you have meetings here as well. That was what I was trying to say. And I think like that covers all of the main stuff. You have an inbox here where you can see like uh, a lot of uh, your tasks. Um, and I had a few in there. Um, because I tested out these uh, this application. Uh, but what you can also do is that you can search for things. So this finds my test uh, list, it finds my test tasks, and it also finds the super list video because the test task is under here. And if I were to search for, for example, main uh, points, it should be able to find the super list video again because uh, main points is in here. So it can be used as a simple all-in-one application. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it for uh, more than a simple all-in-one application because the search did not, for example, highlight where inside of uh, the task uh, the thing I was looking for uh, was. Uh, minor things like that. Uh, the search has gotten a lot better since the last time I tested it. And if you're just looking for a simple place to add tasks, meeting notes, ideas, projects, things like that, then super list, especially the, uh, the basic plan, not the super plan with all of the AI stuff, but the basic plan is really good. And probably uh, you wouldn't need better search if you had uh, unlimited AI messages uh, and unlimited AI meeting. And it was like if you had more AI stuff, uh, you probably would not need uh, some of the search issues I talked about because you would get uh, AI uh, messages. Um, and I think like that covers it for uh, this video. My what I think about this application is that it is really good on the free plan, on uh, on the plus plan. Uh, I'm not as big of a fan uh, of it in the super plan. Of course, you get everything in one uh, place, which is great, but I probably would use this on the basic plan as sort of a project and task manager. I think that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching or listening to today's video.